If you're looking to purchase a new SSD, there are so many choices in the market today that you might get lost. In this video, I'll be comparing four of the most popular offerings on the market today. So I chose two budget SSDs from China and I chose a Kingston SSD and another high-end Samsung SSD to do the tests. All these SSDs I purchased them myself and they are 240 gigabyte version of these SSDs. So the Samsung is the 860 EVO, Kingston A400, THU and TC Sunbow X3. The first test I'll be doing is the initial quality test. It is with Crystal Disk Info. This test basically shows us that all SSDs pass it and they are good. As you see on the left of each screen. And this test also shows us if these SSDs have been, have been used before. And this is important, especially for the budget ones. So to make sure that the manufacturer didn't use used parts to make it. The initial quality test too is doing a surface test with the mini partition tool wizard free. And here also it is to see if there are any errors on the SSDs and they all pass the test. The third important test I'll be doing is a performance test and this is done with AS SSD benchmark tool. This will show us the performance of the disks, each disk. And what's good in this tool is that it aggregates the results at the end. So it's easier to read and it's easier to show which SSD is faster and which one is better. So as you see here, the first one was the Samsung, the second one was the Kingston, third TC Sunbow, and the fourth is the THU. And the Samsung is the winner by a huge margin. It's approximately double the Kingston speed. And the others are close behind. The fourth test I'll be doing is a performance test with a copy benchmark with also with AS SSD. And this basically shows us how fast is the disk when you copy files to it. The first one is the ISO file, which is basically a big sequential file. And then the program file, which is small chunks of files. And then the gaming file, which is a mix of two. And here also the Samsung and Kingston are very close, the one to the other. And which, the one which is very slow here is the TC Sunbow. As you see, it took approximately 13 seconds for the programs and the games to copy to it. The THU is not too bad, but the small files on it are not very good. So overall, taking all things into consideration, number four on the list is the THU. The pros is that it has three years warranty. The cons is that it is expensive for what it offers and it has a lowest score in the AS SSD benchmark. As a verdict, I will not recommend it mainly because of its poor value. It's $37. As you see, it's more expensive than the Kingston and it performs worse than it. The third one on the list is the TC Sunbow. The pros is that it's the cheapest, it's at $30. The cons is that the warranty information is missing, neither on Amazon or on the manufacturer website, I didn't find it, and it was the slowest in the copy benchmark test. For this, I will not recommend it, mainly for its poor performance and the missing warranty info. The second one on the list is the Kingston A400. The pros is that it is cheaper than some budget SSDs like the THU, and this was a surprise. It had the three years warranty from a well-known brand. Kingston is a very well-known and established brand. And it overall has a solid performance. The cons is that it is not the fastest, but I highly recommend it mainly for its great value and as an affordable SSD. And of course, the number one is Samsung. The pros for Samsung is that it was the fastest overall by a huge margin. It has five years warranty and it has a free Samsung Magician software. 
that is very helpful, especially if you're cloning a disk, like your old hard disk to the new SSD. The cons is that it is expensive. It's almost double the price of the least expensive one on the list here, which is the TC Sunbow, and almost also double the price of the Kingston. But this is the first recommended option if you can afford it. I hope this video will help you in choosing your next SSD. Don't hesitate to leave me in your comments below what SSDs are you using or planning to use and if you are satisfied with your current SSD.